Yo, what's up, YouTube? Joe, I'm back for another video, and in this one, we're gonna be playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. This game is awesome. I'm having a great time. If you didn't watch the last one, go watch the last one, and then come back and watch this one. Let's do this. We're here to talk to a stranger. Something about Native Americans, you know. I thought they were all dead at this point, but that's, uh, that's that. Hey, I know you. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The Indians. Mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Whoa! Oh, I told you they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, had an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. If the counselor wants to apologize, he can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Well, cool, put some respect on my name. Dude, me eagle flies near Cornwall. Of course, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that, dude. Put some respect on my name, though, dude. He said, he said, I'm a mercenary, bro. And I was like, nah. I'm wanted in two states, buddy. Dead or alive. Don't play with me. Now, where the hell am I going? Uh... Uh, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Um, we're gonna pay you. Huh, really? How much are you gonna buy me? Huh? Is this right here? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Huh? Nope. All right, guys. I'm gonna find out what I'm doing, and I will catch you when I figure it out. Good. All right, boys. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm a dumbass because I I actually do not know. I do not know what to do, um, with that, that Native American want thing. 
I, I can't even speak either. That guy's yelling so loud in my ear. Um, yeah, dude, I couldn't figure out what to do. It told me on the screen, but then it didn't actually tell me on the map. So we're just going to do the next mission and hopefully it pops back up soon. Either way, we ball, boys. It's how it works. We just thug. We thug. I mean, we're cowboys. We thug. Hello, sir. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yep. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Oh, my business. That's what I like. And usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows We're gonna attack from the swamp. Station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Let's do this. Yeah, I have no idea about the other mission. We're just gonna do this one. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna attack them by the swamps. For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move.
And soon, haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Oh snap, dude. They're getting pit. Oh, he's getting mad. I'm chilling. He's getting mad. All right, Thomas, let's see what this is about. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Eli, yeah. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. No. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester <laughs> than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way, you know it, bro. This way, follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. As we're walking right towards the water. A couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Literally in the water. Nice. We're not worried about a gator. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. I'll check the trap because I know how to do that. Nope, nothing in mind. This one's empty. Alright, I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Ho ho ho. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Oh, you mean like that guy literally right there? You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk. Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Oh, we're, we're damn near swimming, bro. What is going on? If I get grabbed by something, I'm gonna freak out in real life. <laughs> Dude, I'm up to my shoulders right now, yo. Really? I couldn't have taken my shirt off of this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Just stay as still as you can. What is wrong with this guy? He's got one eye. Of course he's a gator freaking look at him. Look at that thing. Ugh. I don't even I can't even whip out a gun. I just tried, it doesn't let me. I don't like this. Let's keep moving. I got another like, by this small island up here. I don't huh. know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I, I guarantee we, we got eaten. Really to find him. Yeah. I don't want to be walking around up to the back of his house. I'd rather drive in a boat. Any wildlife is going to get me before I make it there. Oh my gosh. Look at us. We're getting pretty deep over here. It's about to be up to my neck in a second. This is getting crazy. Imagine doing this in real life though. Like that would not be... I would not have a good time with that because I'm. Oh, oh, you need a hand? 
It happens. Well, then I guarantee you there's nothing in it, bro. Like, what? All right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh. Yep, exactly what I say. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. <laughs> Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. You know, I was actually trying to look up some of the some of the different uh, legendary animals that you can hunt in this game, and the gator was one of them. And I'm, I bet that. Oh shit! Look at him! Look at him! What up, pussies? He just immediately saw me and just. Good evening. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. What? Exactly. What does that even mean, bro? It's like you just want to die. Seems like them old TV shows, like River Monsters or something. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. What? <laughs> what? I hate this. This is stupid. And I don't... I do have a gun. We'll keep this out for now. And if I see a alligator, instead of standing still and letting him live, I'm gonna put like 15 bullets into him. Alright. Jules! Where are you at, bro? See, dude, I'm so unqualified to be out here doing this. I am beyond unqualified. This is probably the most criminal thing I've done in this game. <laughs> Walk around with my ass cheeks hanging out in the in the swamp. Watch him be dead. Like I find him, he's like dead somewhere. Hello. Hello. Hey, someone there? Jules, my boy. Charlie Pooh, where you at, bro? Are you here, man? Hello. Hello. Hey. Someone there? Oh my gosh, where is this guy? I feel like I should see a boat, right? Cause he's on a boat. Jules. Jules. Julio. Where you at? Is that him? What is that? What is that? You see that? That like tree? Is he hanging? What? Dude, no, that's actually a person. Oh no. Uh oh. What is that? Did this get? Oh. Why is he? Why is he up there? Are you railing me right now? See. Oh, it's stuck. Well, isn't that convenient? Look. Look. Ear deep. Alright. Alright, I'll get the boat. 
Dude, how am I not scared right now? Like, how is Arthur not like, yeah, I think I'm good. He just walks on up here. You do do. Alright. I got the scare. It's over here. Oh Stop. shit. To the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. That was it. So, well, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Oh, shit! I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Are you railing me? It'll take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. Yo, watch him get clapped by this this monster. Watch him. Long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here, but the gun's loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. He's gonna pull? What? Pull, boy. Watch him just get like sucked into the water. Just you. Oh my gosh, guys. No. What? What the, what do you want me to do? I don't want to go out here. Oh my gosh. What? I don't want to do this, guys. I want to go back home, man. Uh, oh shitty titties oh oh what do you want me to do I literally I made a joke I made a joke Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Oh no. It actually got his leg. Oh son of a bitch. Come help me. If it grabs me, I'm literally going to shit my pants. No. It's behind me. It's behind me. It's behind me. No. No. <laughs> help help me i made a joke guys it was just a joke i wasn't serious that he was gonna get so sucked in the water no 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 watch it actually be behind me oh shit oh no i was joking again joking come on come on come on come on come on, come on. Oh no. Oh god! I get in the boat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit, 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 shit. How is he not dead? Oh, we're gonna get clapped, boys. And we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just this is ridiculous. Old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. <laughs> Dude, Arthur's so funny, bro. <laughs> Uh, There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. 
Oh, shitty booty. How is your leg not ripped off? I stopped the bleeding. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> Boom, 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 boom. Really? 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 How? How is bro not dead? That's the legendary gator, I guess. Okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh my god. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. Well. Okay, dang. So that must have been. That must have been the legendary gator. So, dude, I guess I'm gonna have to actually kill him now. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to kill him. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to fight him. <laughs> that looked a little too freaky for me, bro. I don't know. I'm scared of gators in real life, dude. Gators are freaky. Okay. Um, let's look at the map real quick. Let us see. I just seen a yellow thing on the map. But now I don't see it. Am I an idiot? Am I an idiot? Am I an idiot, guys? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, damn, boy. They want me to go all the way out there. Okay. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry that this, this uh, like video got kind of like hectic. I mean, because I was talking to Native Americans, and then I'm, I'm, I'm running away from a monster gator, and now I'm looking at it, and I got to go back across America to find these guys. So that will be in the next video. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Looks like I'm going to have to kill this gator at some point. Um, so yeah, I just appreciate you guys for watching. God bless. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.